Greetings, it's Maxo Diddly. Today I'm going to be showing you how you can copy data from a preview only Google Sheet. So I actually made another tutorial on this, but Google have sadly patched that way of doing so. However, there is another way to go about it. So I've got access to a Google Sheet, top secret data. I can select it, but I can't copy the data. I also can't export the Google Sheet and I can't download it. So let's get into how we can copy this data. So you need to go up to the URL and you need to replace the end. So where it has edit and then a bunch of grid stuff, replace that with HTML view and then hit the enter key. And now you've got access to a HTML view of that Google Sheet. The next step is you want to right click somewhere on this web page and go to save as. And you want to download this file and download it as a web page complete.html file. The name doesn't really matter, but make sure it has .html on the end. Then click on save. After that, locate where your file is in your file explorer. Then you want to right click on it and then edit in notepad. You can use other text editing software, but notepad is something everyone's going to have on their Windows computer. Now, you are in the HTML code of the web page. And don't worry, we're going to just do one simple thing. So we're going to press Control and F on our keyboard. And then I want you to do doc shared disable image copy doc shared no select. This will be in the description below for you to copy and paste. And once you do that, click on the search up or search down button. It doesn't really matter because there's only one instance of it in the file. And you're going to see the text being highlighted in blue. Once you've navigated to this, I want you to be very careful and delete the following. So what you're going to delete is the space before the class text, class equals speech mark, doc shared, disable image, copy, doc shared, no select, speech mark. This is what you're going to delete. And once you have that selected, press the delete key. After that, I want you to then go up to file and then click on save to save the change you made to your Google Doc. After that, you can then close notepad. Then I want you to open up your HTML file. So you can either double click on it or right click and then go to open with, then go to a web browser. I'm going to open it in Edge. And if we hit control A, look, we've just highlighted all of the text and then we can right click and click on copy. If we go into Google Sheet and make a blank sheet and then paste in the data, then just make the cells a little bit wider, you can see we've now pasted the data into our Google Sheet. However, it's also got the numbers and the letters for the rows and columns. So you can just highlight them, click delete, highlight them, click delete. And if you don't like these little lines, uh, select all the data you've copied then you can click on the borders button here and then you can click on clear borders and look, you've got the data that you really wanted to download before in your own Google Sheet. So thanks for watching this tutorial. It is longer and a little more complicated than the previous way. This is a workaround which should work on most setups. Your web browser doesn't matter. All you need is the ability to download the web page and edit it in text editing software like Notepad. Thanks for watching this quick tutorial.